Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a haul and I am coming to you all the way from Aspen, Colorado and we're in a mountain, we're in the middle of the mountain somewhere in a cabin. So we got a cabin for like a whole week and this is going to be our third night here. So we're so excited. We haven't really done any activities yet. We're thinking of going to like the hot springs and maybe some uh, like, you know, some sledding, some skiing later on. Just we're going to do a bunch of stuff, but that's towards the end of the week. Um, I still have to do a few things on the computer and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we went to Walmart last night because we needed some outfits for Isaac. We couldn't find the little overalls that you wear underneath like your big jacket and just so the snow doesn't go inside your outfit. We couldn't find any back in Southern California, so here they even carry them at Walmart. So that's where we um, ended up buying something for him. So yeah. I ended up getting a lot of stuff from Flower Cosmetics and also from Hard Candy that I'm so excited to share with you guys today. So I am going to be doing swatches. So I think we should get started. Um, I am going to start with the Flower Cosmetics because I love that cosmetics line. And um, I hadn't been to Walmart in a while so I was really excited when I saw that they had a lot of new products. So I ended up getting some of these chubby sticks and these are actually really creamy um, products for your cheeks. I ended up getting this bronzy one and this one is called Glisten Up. It's a highlighter chubby and I also got this one in a blush that I wore yesterday and it's so easy to blend. I was watching everything yesterday so I tried on a lot of the stuff already. Um, but these are really creamy and they're easy to blend. They feel really velvety and I feel like these would be great even on top of a powder. You know, The one that I really like is this one. This is a highlighter chubby and it's just so pretty. I should probably put some on right now. It just, you could just highlight like this and then just kind of blend it in with your fingers. It's so easy to blend. And I already have my powder and everything. You could just do this down the bridge of your nose, anywhere that you might need a highlight. Anyways, so I was talking about some lip products that I found um, and these are actually new products too I believe because last time that I went I was looking through the whole line of cosmetics and I didn't see these so I'm assuming these are new and I really like these because they are, um, let me show you four of them. They are called Lip Suede Velvet lip chubby and these are matte lip products and they are really really pigmented and I'll give you guys swatches as well of each color but they also have some hydrating ones as well if you're more into just something with a little bit of lip color and you just want your lips moisturized so I picked these three up and my favorite has to be this one it's kind of like a bubblegum pink these are called sheer up lip tint and the one that I'm wearing on my lips today is this one this is a velvet it looks a little bit glossy because I have gloss on top of it but this color that I'm wearing is ready to bloom and yeah so I'll give you guys swatches of those so I also picked up these lip glosses and I got four different colors just sort of like pink ones and uh, neutral pinkish nudes and these are called Shine On Lip Gloss, so they're really intense glosses. A few other things that I got from Flower Cosmetics, I saw that they carried some Eyes on the Price eyeshadow chubbies. And they're just two chubby sticks like this. Um, these are, I swatched them on yesterday and I like that they're buildable so you can definitely do like a sheer layer and then just layer it on if you want. And then you can also use these, um, especially this darker blue one, it's called Dark Side of the Blue. This one you can definitely use it as an eyeliner and I love it also as a base. So I got two different colors, the dark blue and then this teal one called Teal We Meet Again. Names are really cute as well. I ended up getting an eyeshadow palette. This is a quad. And I actually, I was wearing it today, but I felt like the colors are beautiful and they look really, they feel re really velvety, just really soft, and they are pretty pigmented. But the only thing is that when I put this on, you know how sometimes you wear eyeshadow and your eyes look really dry, like dehydrated? This is what it kind of made me feel like. The, just the greens, made, it just... It felt like it was just too dry almost, you know, it didn't look healthy, it looked dry. Um, so I'm going to try it again to see, maybe, I'm going to try like a different method of application. This was just 
Um, I didn't even use an eyeshadow primer because I didn't even bring one. I forgot that and my lash glue. Um, so yeah, I just ended up using a little bit of concealer just to kind of intensify the colors a little bit. But it's a pretty palette. I really like the colors. I just wish they didn't look so dehydrating, you know? The palette is called Secret Garden. So just like teals and greens and lavender and then this really pretty highlight on right on top. Uh, oh, one more thing from Flower Cosmetics. I saw that they had a new mascara, and this one is the Zoom In Mascara uh, Twist 3-in-1 in Intense Black, and it says it lengthens, curls, and thickens your eyelashes. So this is how it looks. Let me open it up because I haven't, um, haven't even messed with this. It says it's a 3-in-1 product, um, but let me see how this works out because it says you can... Okay. This is a tube, it has a pretty big wand, and I don't get what the twisting is about. Oh, this is so cool! Okay, so this is pretty awesome. I don't know where the other wand is, but you can twist this up, and I'll give you guys a close-up, and it has a little diagram or a picture of the, the wand, but you can change the wand inside the tube by just twisting this little dial on the top. So it's at the Lengthens, Curls, and Volumize 3-in-1 Mascara. This is pretty genius. I haven't seen a product that does this. Ooh, this is cool. I can't wait to try this one out to see how it works. So from Hard Candy, I got a lot of cool stuff as well. I saw that they had these, and I don't think these are new, um, but I could be wrong. These are called Glitter Eyeshadow, and these are actually really pigmented and you can definitely, they don't crease. I wore them yesterday. I actually put on one of these chubby sticks and then I layered it on top. So I wore the blue chubby stick and then I put on this blue, um, what is this, a uh, glitter shadow. And this is so cool because it's not just straight up glitter. Like it has the base of the color, like it's blue and then it has like blue glitter on top of it as well. But they are just so you I would recommend because I tried it on a few different ways yesterday I would recommend just kind of like patting it rather than like putting it on and then just smearing it with a brush because that's when I kind of lost the color and the intensity but even it even though I packed it on it still did increase and it just looked really vibrant and just like glittery and pretty but not like over the top glitter like you just packed on glitter this is more it's not so intense but yet you can still see the glitter and it looks really pretty rather than just having like a plain blue flat eyeshadow you know they do have a lot more colors but I only got the colors that I know I'm gonna wear for sure so I got uh, five of these and um, I also got a few more products these are also new and these are just pressed, uh, actually not pressed, let me open these up because I haven't opened them up yet. But and they come in little containers like this, kind of like the NYX ones. And these are called Poppin' Pigments. So I got a lavender and I got this kind of pearly pink, which I think it's, it looks really iridescent. So I feel like this would be great for like a highlight, even just adding it on top of like a plain shadow. So the pink one is really pretty. And then I saw these as well, and these are also new. These are called All Lit Up from Hard Candy. And these are cream shadows, and they come with a little plastic thing here so they don't dry out. But I don't know if you guys can see these. These are, it's, they're really pretty. I, I seriously love these as well. I got a lot of things that I ended up loving this time. And this is the gold, oh, actually, this is not the gold one. This is kind of like a champagne color. Uh, which is great for a highlight and then I got a gold one and a purple one so nice little intense purple I love the color purple I, just, I love wearing purple shadow I think I'm gonna do that one later on today and from hard candy I got three more glosses these are the glossaholic lip glosses and um, I got three of them because they have like a really intense they almost look like diamonds inside of this lip gloss like the glitter looks like diamonds they're so small and they glisten and they're just so like they just add a lot more, 
they just make your lips look prettier. You know, if you have like a plain lipstick, you add this on top, your lips shine really pretty. So I got three colors. I got this one, which is just a neutral color, like a clear gloss. But this one here is called Relaxing Lip Gloss, the Chill Out. They had one which just pumps you up, kind of like peppermint or something. This one is supposed to like relax you because it's infused with like, um, what is this infused with? With Mood Altering Elixir. Um, and I don't think that's really true because I am not the type of person to like put on a lip gloss and then really relax. Um, it has a nice smell. It's like vanilla. But, um, yeah, I just like the, the, the actual lip gloss. I don't think it actually chills you out. But these two are my favorite. I love pr lip products that are kind of like bubble gum and just pink and pretty. So I got to, I got Creamsicle and Confection. So sort of like this neutral peach and this bubblegum pink, which is so pretty. And I'm telling you, like the brush, the actual sponge tip applicator, it's like this, whoa, it's like this really fat wand. And I'm just going to put some on top. See, you can even add this to like the center of your lips just to make your lips look a lot more fuller. But the actual, the wand, it has like a really spongy tip and it's huge. Oh my god, this one smells good. It smells like bubble gum. I love these. Okay, so I really like those. I also got some hoops. I got these right here. And I love gold hoops. And I haven't had a pair of gold hoops in a really long time. I thought they were a little bit too pricey though. Just for, because I feel like you can get these for a dollar. Because they were $3.88 for these. These were also $3.88. I also got like the basic ones. I got the large hoops and then medium and smaller for $4.88. So these are just gold hoops. Oh, and I also got this, which I thought was so cute. This is, this is Flower Rainbow Wedges. And it's just supposed to be uh, for full blended coverage so you can blend out your foundation. I just thought these were so adorable and colorful. And you can definitely reuse these. You just wash them with some mild soap. Um, and it, they come in a little tray so you can keep them looking like a flower the whole time and I just thought they were cute so I can keep those in my vanity. Um, next, um, I love nails. I love getting my nails done but I also love doing them my own, myself at home more than I love getting them done. When I get my nails done it's because either I just want to relax and I want to let someone else just like massage me or something like that but for the most part I do them myself at home and I have everything I need to do them myself at home. So I love nails. I love trying out new nails nail products and press on nails are one of my favorite things ever. You can just complete an outfit with your nails really quickly without going to the salon and spending like $160 to get like a custom design, you know? So I came across these that are new and they're by a company called Fingers Prints and they look like this. I'll give you guys a close up of all of them, but you can wear these up to a week. Um, they look like they have, like I open them up and they have like a sticky back. But I feel like if you want to wear them a little bit longer, you can use the, um, the kind of glue that you use on acrylic nails so they last a little bit longer. Uh, but they have so many different cute prints that I'll give you guys a close-up of each one. But they also have like little, um, like little charms that you can just add on top of your nails so you can have like a 3D effect. So I got about three, four, five. I got six of these different designs. And then this is an, another one that I got from Impress Nails, but I sick opened it up and I can't even show you anymore. But I do have a lot of these little containers. Oh, here it is. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll give you guys a close up. This is just kind of like, what is this called? This one is bright as a feather. And that is it for my haul from beauty, the beauty section at Walmart. And I hope you guys enjoy this haul. I am going to have a great time here in Colorado. I can't wait to do more stuff. I'm thinking of, um, you guys should let me know what to do. Like, is there anything specifically? I'm kind of scared of the black bears, though, because I don't know. Like, I was trying to research what kind of animals there is because we're, we're literally, like, the only cabin in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the mountains. There's, like, two more houses like that, but this is a really nice cabin. I'll give you guys a, a tour on my vlog and I have been vlogging, I just haven't uploaded, so I'm going to work on a vlog today as well. And yeah, I'm so excited though. I can't wait to just like be out in the snow and stuff. It's so freaking cold. It gets like, I think the coldest it's been here since I've been here, it's like 16 degrees, which is something that I've never experienced in my life. And it makes me not want to be out here. Be well, 
I want to be out here, but it just I just want to be inside the cabin, you know? Uh, but it's beautiful. I mean, it's just like white everywhere. Someone said on my Instagram that it's 50 shades of gray, and it's literally, that's what it looks like. When we were landing on our way here in the airplane, from the mountains, it's just like 50 shades of gray. It's just, it's beautiful. My gosh, I just, wow, this is like different. It's gorgeous out here. I'm just scared of the cougars and the black bears and whatever other kind of crazy animals because the snow is like nice and even and then in the morning when we wake up we see like footprints that lead up to the mountains I'm like oh my god and they're huge we're like what can that be you know anyways um I will talk to you guys later I'm gonna uh put on some warm clothing and yeah I'll see you guys later thanks for watching and I love you take care and I hope you guys have a great weekend and see you on my next video bye so these are going to be the swatches of the eye def hard candy glitter eyeshadow this is the pink one and it's called sprinkles it's right here this is a purple one, and this one is called Sequence. The blue one is called Lagoon, and it's one of my favorites alongside with the purple. You can see how if you start to smear them like this, you lose kind of like that intensity. But if you pat it on, it's really intense, and it's buildable, and it doesn't crease. These are amazing, guys. This one is called Disco. Let's put it on this side. See, Disco is a little bit more neutral. You can add this on top of, like, just any shadow, pretty much, just to kind of give it, amp it up. This one is called Pool Boy. And it's just a really pretty teal. So now I'm going to swatch the Flower um, Eyes on the Price Eyeshadow Chubby. This one is called Teal We Meet Again. And, like I said, these are definitely buildable. You can see if you go back and forth, you can see the intensity. Um, and they're really creamy. They look like they won't crease at all. I mean, I didn't wear these all night long, but just from the time that I had them on, you can just tell they're good products. And this one is called uh, Dark Side of the Blue, which is just a dark blue one. This is a nice intense color. I think a lot of you guys will like this one. And yeah, this is more of like a nighttime shadow stick. Okay, just wanted to give you guys a little close up first. These are the uh, Shine On Lip Glosses from Flower. This pink one here is called Baby's Breath. This one is Baby's Breath. This one is called What a Daisy. You can see that Baby's Breath is a lot more pink. It's really pretty. And then you have like this sort of nude lip gloss. This is one of my favorites. It's called Lovely Lotus. Let me just put it right next to this pink one so you guys can see the comparison between pinks. This is a lot more pink. See, these are just great neutral colors, guys. Great for smoky eyes. And then we have this darker color here, which is called Pretty and Petunia. And let's swatch this. There you go. Sort of more of like a coral. Okay, just to give you guys a little close-up, these are the All Lit Up Shadow Pots. Cream eyeshadows, pretty pigmented. Let me show you the purple one. They do come with a little purple or a plastic lid so they don't dry out but here is the intensity of the purple one and let me just watch it so you can see it where's a good place I'm just gonna swatch the purple again right on top of the purple so you can sort of see this is great just for the all over the eyelid color and here's the close-up these are the sheer lip balms or lip tints these three are the sheer colors, and then we have the um, Lip Suede Velvet Lip Chubbies. These, so you can see the suede one, it's almost completely matte. It just has, well, obviously a suede finish. So it's not going to dehydrate your lips. Um, and this color that I just watched for you is called Moth Over. And again, these are the Lip Suede Velvet Lip Chubbies. These are awesome, guys. I love these. Let me show you this one, which I think would be great for for spring, which is this color here. And this color is called, ooh, I don't know if I can say that. Oh yeah, Life's a Peach, my bad. Just reading it upside down. There it is, Life's a Peach, maybe right here. See, really nice color. And then of course we have a darker one, which is called Barrymore. Ooh, like Drew Barrymore, that's cute. 
and I'll swatch that over here. Sorry, I have like, my swatches are not organized. And of course we have the one that I was wearing on my lips right here. This is Ready to Bloom. And there you have it. Those are the swatches for those. This one is called Rap Star. This one here is called Wild Card. This one is called Mirror Mirror. Something a little bit more classy. This one is Naughty Girl, one of my favorites. This one is Style Icon. 